Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Moose. And this video, we're gonna be doing a fight prediction video of Sean Strickland versus Jared Cannonier for the fight that's happening on December 17th. So let's get right into it. All right. So my prediction is most likely um Jared Cannonier is gonna knock out Sean Strickland. I would say like 60, 40 percent chance that he'll he's gonna win by KO. But I'm a big fan of Sean Strickland, and I think he has potential to take it to decision. And possibly um, beat Strickland um, and, and possibly beat Cannonier by uh, um, decision. The, the, so I think Strickland can possibly beat Cannonier by decision. But obviously Cannonier is super dangerous with his knockout power. But you know a lot of people they just seem to, all they seem to remember is the Fajeda fight with Strickland, how he got knocked out so quick. They think they think Strickland's a joke. Like you know they think Strickland doesn't have a chin or whatever. But like that was just one fight. You know people have bad fights. Number one, number two, Fajeda has really good power. You know, and let's not forget, he was also the light heavyweight champ and middleweight champ in glory. So, and not only that, Strickland, the way he fought Pajeda was, it's not, it's, not, it's not how he usually fights. Usually, I know Strickland, the way he talks sounds crazy. And, like, you would think he the way he talks would match the way he fights. Like, all reckless and shit, saying crazy shit. So, you would think he fights crazy, etc. And goes for crazy shit. But, Sean Strickland actually fights super smart, super safe, and super, like, He's a, he's a counter puncher. He sits back and waits for his opponent. He's very boxing oriented. And if you take him down, he has really good jujitsu. And he fights really, really smart, I would say. I think Sean Strickland's a very smart fighter and a very safe fighter. And he's extremely well rounded. You know, his record is 25 and 4. You know, um, he has 11 wins by decision, 10 by knockout. So, like I said, he, likes, he, he doesn't mind taking the fight to decision. He'll, he'll, he'll slow play the whole fight to take it to decision. But he can also knock you out and he can submit you. He has four submissions. And also, Sean Strickland um has never been um submitted. You know that, that's 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 an interesting thing. The funny thing is, Jared Cannonier also has never been submitted. But most of Can Cannonier has fifteen wins, right? Ten by knockout. So obviously, Cannonier, you know, everyone knows he's a striker. He has good power. You know, he was in light heavyweight division at one point. You know, I, now they're fighting a middleweight. So he's a he's a pretty big dude. You know, he's has he's muscle, big dude, a lot of power, a lot of strength. And uh, Strickland, you know. He, he, he also, like, you know, Strickland can knock out Cannonier, but that's probably going to be an unlikely. I, I see the fight probably going to decision, and I think Strickland can win by decision. So, like I said, but probably, but most likely, um, Cannonier could knock out Strickland. So, it's like 60 40 that Cannonier knocks out Strickland, and the 40, and then there's like a 40% chance that uh, Strickland wins by decision, and that's my prediction. Yeah. So I think Cannonier will probably end up KOing Strickland or TKOing him or whatever. And Strickland, if he does win, wins by the only way I feel like I see him winning is by decision. You know, what do you think, Mr. Moose? I think it's Sean Strickland usually fights the way he always has before the Bahado fight, then probably he'll win this fight. Huh. Um, but if he go if he goes in and fights the way he fought Bahada, he probably will get knocked out or possibly just lose the match. Um no, how do you see, I think how do you see how do you see Sean Strickland, Strickland winning? Is just gonna, I, I see Sean Strickland actually just winning by points. I think he's gonna decision. rack up the points. Yeah, decision. I think he's gonna rack up the points. He's gonna fight the the usual way, not the way he fought before in that match. That was a disaster for him. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know if he was trying to prove a point or something, but that was plain stupid. Um, yeah, I, I think if he just fights uh, safer and smarter. Usual game plan, he should be able to beat Cannonier with just points and win by decision. Definitely. That's that's yeah. my opinion on So I was watching uh Sean Strickland interview. I forgot where it was specifically. I'm not sure if it was a Schmo interview, but he was like, Yeah, um, I want to test out this big bad um, you know, glory fighter. I want to see what he was about or whatever. So Sean Strickland actually wanted to test out his striking. Like that was his game plan. Like, I don't know why he wanted to do that. And then he got knocked out. He's like, Oh, I got knocked out, it happens. Like that, that's the way like Sean Strickland was. He like nonchalant, like doesn't care, you know. But yeah, he literally wanted to test it out, and guess what? He tested it out and he got knocked out. Because usually Sean Strickland's a much safer fight, a much safer fighter. And uh, the funny thing is, if Sean Strickland was to grapple against Pajeda, I think he would have beat him. He would have he would have grappled with Pajeda, kept him down on the floor. He would have won like that. But Sean Strickland, for some reason, wanted to, you know, go forward against Pajeda. Who's all you know, one of the best strikers in the world, and then he got knocked out, which wasn't smart, you know. Usually Strickland's a very smart fighter, very safe fighter, very calculated, very, you know, like he's very patient. That's what the one thing about I say about Strickland. Even though when he talks, he doesn't sound like a patient person, when he fights, he's a very patient person. 
You know, he said he he's always he's like he like feels feels that the opponent out. He's always just like waiting and he's just waiting for like the opponent to mess up. And that's when he capitalizes. You know, he doesn't have the craziest power, but he can knock people out. Obviously, he has enough power where he can knock people out, but he doesn't have like crazy power, like 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 like, like you know, like one one punch knockout. He could knock you out with one punch if he lands like perfectly in the in the perfect spot. But like he, he in a regular punch, he won't just like knock you out that easily. But he has enough power to knock out people. But but I would say you know him fighting safe, winning by decision is like his bread and butter. That's for sure what I think. And Cannonier, the only way I see him winning is by knockout. You know, Kanye likes to stand and bang. He likes to hit hard. So Strickland needs to be careful because if he doesn't respect Kanye in this fight, right, he'll get knocked out the same way Pajeda knocked him out. And right now, Strickland lost to Pajeda by knockout, like, like first two minutes of the match, right? If Kanye knocks out Strickland, right, if he knocks him out um, in a similar fashion the way Pajeda did, then Strickland's going to be on a two-fight losing streak and they're both knockouts. And remember what I said. Bro, if you're on a two or three fight losing streak and you've been knocked out brutally, the UFC will cut you. Like, I don't, you know, if I get it, it's Sean Strickland. His record is 25 and four. He's been in the UFC for a long time. I used to watch Sean Strickland when he had like long hair. It's crazy. You know, like I'm telling you, like, but like, let's say Kanye knocks out Strickland, right? And then let's say, um, let's say then I'll be two knockout losses in a row, right? Then let's say Strickland fights someone else, right? And then let's say Strickland loses that fight, right? And then, that, then that's like two knockouts and a loss in a row, you know? Like Strickland needs to win this because if Strickland loses this by knockout or even just loses this, he's now he's on a two fight losing streak. You know, I told you like and I've been, I've always been saying that like UFC fighters get cut for two fight losing streaks, but if you get knocked out and you're on a two fight losing streak and they're by devastating KOs, you can get cut. But let's but since it's Strickland, I think Dana White would probably like let it go to like three or four fight losing streak. I noticed the UFC lately has been letting guys get away with three or four fight losing streaks. But, like, I remember, like, just, like, three or four years ago, like, like before COVID, 2018, 2019, if you were on a two-fight losing streak, you can get cut, like, like this. But now the UFC is more like, all right, you can lose three or four times, I guess, and you'll be kind of all right. You know, just have, like, one amazing performance, and that'll make up for your four losses if, if you're, like, somewhat famous and have like, and you draw a big crowd. But if you're one of those guys, like, like a Chandler that draws a big crowd, but you just keep losing, but the fight's entertaining, and you draw a big crowd, and people love you, you won't get cut. Like Tony Ferguson, like four or five fight losing streak, draws a big crowd. Everyone loves him. Everyone will come to see him. That will sell tickets, right? So he's not going to get cut right away, you know? But if you're like some Joe Schmo in the UFC, you're not really known. The fans don't really, like, come to watch your fights. They don't, nobody knows you. Because a lot, a lot of fighters feel like they don't understand that, like, it's, a, it's about how many tickets you sell, right? If people come there to see you, you know, people come to events to see certain fighters. And then there's like a lot of fighters that are fighting on the card that nobody even knows who they are, right? A lot of people don't know who a lot of the fighters are on the prelims, you know, or like or on the, a lot of the cards, right? Like a lot of the prelims fighters are not that famous, right? So a lot of people don't, a lot of the fans don't know the prelim fighters. So a lot of the fans that are paying money and, and buying popcorn or buying beer to or whatever to go to go watch the UFC event, they're not coming for the prelim fighters, right? So, like, these prelim fighters need to, like, understand that, like, if they have two or three losses in a row or four losses in a row, they're not going to get the same privileges as, like, a T Michael Chandler or a Tony Ferguson or someone, like, famous that, that, like, sells tickets that, you know, like, certain fighters can, Dana White or in, in the UFC will allow to get three or four losses in a row. Then other fighters, like, the UFC won't allow to get three or four losses in a row. You know what I'm saying? And lately, the UFC has been, like, kind of leaning, letting fighters get away with three, four losses in a row as long as they're famous and can sell tickets. But the prelim fighters or, or the like, the regular Joe Schmo fighters that nobody knows about there in the UFC need to be careful about getting two or three losses in a row. Strickland's obviously very famous. He can probably get away with, like, three or four losses in a row. But he should still be careful because if he gets knocked out by Cannonier, his reputation is pretty much ruined, you know? Two knockouts in a row is, like, you know, like, like I was saying, even Habib, he gets knocked out twice in a row. You know, his whole reputation is ruined, you know. Islam Agashev will get knocked out two times in a row. Reputation ruined. Oliveira got lost to Islam. Now everyone's like, oh, Islam's the GOAT, you know. And then, now everyone kind of, like, forgot about Oliveira all of a sudden. Right? Everyone, I mean, I didn't forget about Oliveira, but a lot of, like, the casuals, like, really forgot about Oliveira, you know. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, me, Mr. Casual. I'm here with Mr. Moose. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, everybody. All right, take care.